Donald with Seambright Supply, and today I wanted to talk about some of the differences between pressure regulators and unloaders. You'll hear that terminology a lot of times on carpet cleaning machines, pressure washers, truck mounts, anything that has to do with water pressure. So to begin, the major difference that you're going to see between pressure regulators versus unloaders is that a pressure regulator has pressure exerted all the time like against your pressure gauge. So if I had a water pump with a pressure gauge and I had a pressure regulator, whether I'm picking up my cleaning tool and squeezing the trigger or letting go of the trigger, it's always going to be showing the pressure on the pump head and displaying the pressure on the gauge. Now if I have an unloader on my system and I did that, my gauge would actually read zero or maybe building pressure at 75 psi. And then when I squeeze the trigger, it's going to go, hey, the water's in motion, and then it's going to exert the pressure against it. So it allows it to unload all the pressure. So that's kind of basically the, the difference. A regulator regulates the pressure. An unloader will regulate the pressure, but it also unloads the pressure when you're not using the cleaning tool. So these are examples here of some pressure regulators. Uh, some of the differences that you can have they can be just two ports where you have water in and water out, or you might have three ports where you have two water ins and one water out. Uh, basically, when you have a pressure regulator, uh, let's say if this was set to with a 500 PSI spring, uh, any pressure that's in excess of that pressure would then leave the discharge port. Now, normally you're going to see an arrow on them, like um, this one. I happen to know that this is the out, so and this one is in and this one is out. Um, the same thing is, is true with this one. This one is like, this one's the in and this one's the out. And these are typically not adjustable. Like you'll see here, there's an Allen wrench uh, screw on here that's designed for the factory or you to preset it at whatever pressure that you want. And this one here has a cap you can remove and then inside of it allows you to be able to adjust the spring tension on it. Other pressure regulators, like this is a real common one. This one is used on a lot of Hypro branded items. Uh, you're also going to see some differences on how they can mount. This one here has a panel mounted lock nut. So if I'm actually going to mount this through a hole in a control panel, I could actually secure this so that it can be on the face of my carpet cleaning machine or uh, whatnot. You'll see that also on unloaders, like this one here has a lock nut on it. And these can be done one of two ways. Again, I can lock nut it back this way. If I want to panel mount it against a hole where I drill a hole through a, a sheet metal and actually mount it, or I could actually use it as a lock nut against the nut so that I can't turn it and adjust it if I have a predetermined pressure. Now, most pressure regulators and unloaders uh, you're going to see them both with, with and without knobs. The knob isn't really doing anything other than giving you a place where you don't have to put a tool that hopefully you can just turn it by hand. Um, sometimes you're going to see multi-ported, like here's an unloader, and you'll see that it's got um, a, a couple of different ways. A lot of times you can even see this in a five-port version where there's another hole here. And that just basically allows additional mounting options where if you want to uh, mount it and cap this one off and open up this one, you can, you can plumb it that way. Now, the unloaders are available with and without check valves in them. Excuse me, the check valve in it um, can be removed on some situations. Uh, I know like on a lot of the ProChem truck mounts, they, they would actually remove the check valve inside of it to convert the unloader to be used like a pressure regulator, which is kind of weird. They could have just bought a regulator to begin with, but that's what they were doing. So um, some of the seals on these can be different as well, and they're going to range greatly in the amount of pressure that they're designed for. Some of them uh, are designed for hotter water than others. So you have to kind of look at the individual specs. Some of them are only rated for like 140 degree water. Sometimes you're going to see them rated for 180 degree water, 185 degree water. Um, you're also going to see that the, the you can have a lot of regulators, or I'm sorry, unloaders that have different thicknesses of the spring, like the entire uh, 
device is exactly the same, but then the only difference with it is the the thickness of the spring, which allows it to operate in a larger pressure range. Now, typically, most uh, pressure adjustment systems, if whatever the max is, like if this say this particular brand posted that the max was 3,000 psi, that usually means you're not going to necessarily be able to turn it down below about half its setting. So uh, not all of them will turn down to zero. You have to kind of also check on the specs on that. A lot of the pressure regulators though, you can turn down a lot lower than you can on loaders. Uh, so you're going to see these more commonly used in carpet cleaning machines uh, that have lower flows and lower pressure ranges. Well, you'll see on loaders typically used in pressure washers uh, because they're using a more volume and higher pressures and usually you're not trying to unload it all the way down to carpet cleaning pressure ranges. So anyway, this is kind of a quick overview of some of the many different ones that you can have on your equipment and uh, thanks for watching.